Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Almost, almost weekend. Oh, my goodness. I'm looking forward for that one. I'm very tired. This week has been very, very busy, but we're here, and the English class is always relaxing. So, very, very nice. Okay. Uh, just something here. Okay. So, um, we are going to start the class. We're going to check the attendance. I know that not many of you have come, but. I hope, let me check the chat because I was checking that some of you still have problems to log in. No, I don't see any, any, anything like that tonight. Okay, so let just check the attendance. So, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, present, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avides Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Very good, perfect. Let me just check again to see if they are able to log in. Yeah, I didn't see them. Okay. Very well. So let me just check. Okay, so we are going to continue with the class. We are discussing about uh, the distribution channels, right? As you may remember. So we are going to let me just go here and present. Okay, so there are kind of different distribution channels. For first of all, do you remember? Uh, what is a distribution channel? What is the concept of distribution channel, as you may remember? Good, Monica. Okay, yes, a distribution channel are the steps that a company take so they can move the product from the producer to the to the customer right so and there are three kinds or or yeah let's say kind of distribution channels uh let's see um let's see uh sandra could you please help me reading the first one yes um, three most common distribution channels. Direct. 
uh, manufacturing supply to go direct to customer without using any intermediary. Retail offer, mail order selling, internet selling. Very good. So okay. that is the first type. Okay. Okay, so the direct, right? So manufacturing supplies, the goods directly to consumers without using any intermediaries. So directly, right? I produce and I sell to the to the customers. Some examples on this one are the retail outlets. So for example, Sanjax, they produce their own clothes, they produce their own line of businesses and they have their own stores. Those are the retail outlets. Another option is the mail order selling. So yeah, you can uh, order and then uh, the uh, company sends the products. And the internet selling that is very popular nowadays. Good, perfect. Um, Juan, could you please help me with the second one? Okay, uh, indirect. Manufacturer sells the goods to customers through one of more middle middlemen. 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 Retailers, wholesalers, agents, brokers, franchises, and resellers. Very good. So the indirect are uh, manufacturer sells the goods to consumers through one or more middlemen. Middlemen is like intermediaries, right? So, uh, yeah, they produce, but they pay to other companies or they sell to other companies. So the other companies are the ones that are going to sell the product to the consumers. Examples are the retailers, the wholesalers, agents, and, or brokers. Do you know what is a broker? Okay, a broker in general is a person that has a certification to, to sell or to manage some actives. So in this case, it can be any product, but the most common brokers are the ones in Wall Street, for example. Like uh, an agent. Yeah, something like that. So the brokers are the ones that move one product to other place, right? Or move act, uh, the share to, from companies or things like that. Franchise. Uh, do you know what is a franchise? Son las franquicias. Very good. And that is a very good thing that is uh, here in, included in the distribution channel. So some companies like Buffalo, for example, they sell the franchise. What they do, uh, do you know how to work on the franchise? How do they work? Okay. Uh, pizza. Oh, Sarita. Okay, very good. So what? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, a franchise is like when you uh, or a company, let's say, they they are the owners of a brand, the colors, the recipes, anything. Okay. With a with a with a profit percent, exactly. So For what the they owner. do, exactly. What they do is that imagine that you want to buy a a, a franchise of Buffalo Wings. So what they do uh, is that you pay, you pay for the training, uh, and you get like a certification that you have the conditions to run the business. Uh, and they train you so you know how to how to cook, how to build the product, the service, the colors, and they help you with many other things. And you can sell the product and they and you give them to the brand, you give them a percentage. So that is how a franchise works. It's very interesting. It's, uh, it's very good. Uh, another question for you. I don't know if you know that one. Do you know what is speaking about restaurants and brands and franchises? Uh, do you know what is the restaurant that has more branches in the world? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. 
is not correct. No. I Pizza. think McDonald's. Which one? McDonald's? Yes. Pizza. What what's the name of the bunch? Branch. Branch. Branch sucursales. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> uh, and it's around not the world. Around the world. Subway. Subway, you are correct. Subway is the restaurant that has more branches around the world. In my oh, world. McDonald's is possible too, teacher. Ah, uh, McDonald's is probably the second or third. Uh, yeah, because they are everywhere. There are just a few countries where they are not part of. For example, in Russia, now that uh, the war began, they retired. The yeah. So or maybe in China. Because, maybe because we can we can find uh the low price in Subway in Arab world. Yeah, I believe that that is one of the reasons. I mean, there are very good foods also. Also, it is not that expensive. It's uh, it's cheap, and if it's you see cheap. the 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 way, it's practical. Uh, yeah. To take the, to take yes. They don't have big restaurants, right? They just no. need a small place, maybe with two or three uh, tables. The most of the people they buy and they go to other. Yes, places. they so, go. It's very convenient. Teacher, excuse me, I have a question. I can hear uh, Pizza Hut is no example for franchises. It's an example, yes, that is an example. Uh, what is not is that it's not the one that has more branches in the world, but of course has a lot. I mean, Pizza Hut is very popular. Okay, thank you. Very good. Interesting, so, and resellers, of course. Let's go to the hybrid. Um, Maria Julia, could you please help me read in the hybrid? Also, revendedores. Uh, no, hybrid. Please read hybrid. Okay. Uh, hybrid. Manufacturer sell the good dough, multiple channels. Okay. Oh, oh, has well as territory, territory party channels on. Own website, own retail values, uh, retail uh, wall sellers, uh, brokers, and um, distribution. Distribution. Very good. So the hybrid, of course, is a, a combination of direct and indirect. So the manufacturer sells the goods through multiple channels, their own channel, and also third party channels. So they have their own website, their own retail stores, but also they sell with other retailers and wholesalers and with other brokers and distributors. So that is it. These are the most common, the most common uh, ways of distribution channels. Uh, do you have any questions on this? Yes, uh, teacher. Or hybrid, I don't know. Um, I, hybrid, okay. I I understand the hybrid is a mix to uh commercialization. It's a mix of direct and, and indirect. So okay. they do it themselves, and also they have third party. Okay. Very. Thank good. you. You're welcome. Any other question? Good, let's move to the next one. So, factors for classifying retailers level and amount of service. Um, this is a nice thing, so let's see how it goes. Uh, let me check. Um, Anna Hernandez, could you please help me reading this slide? Okay, this is the record. Factor for classifying retailers level and amount of service. Retail store can be categorized in accordance to the level of service they provide. There are self-service. Self-service of retailers allow customers to perform the process of search, 
fair and call it good uh, for saving time or money purpose. For some consumer self-service is considered a benefit while others may view it as an inconvenience. It is mostly used in discount store and by sellers uh, of convenience goods and fast moving shopping goods. Let's continue. No. Okay. For service. For service retailer offer for, for full retailer related customer service in a store. They hire safe people to assist them, uh, customers in every phase of shopping process. Limit service. Oh, ya no veo lo de abajo. The, okay. huh? the offers Offers. Okay. So uh, uh, don't worry, I can read that part. No worries. It says the okay. store offers some of the services provided by the full service store. Uh, it is suitable for stores that sell shopping goods because customers. Yeah, I can't read that either. It's because of the uh, of this one. But don't worry. Let's check. I believe it's not part. Of it. Okay. So this is interesting this part because about retailers, there are three levels let's say so it says factors for classifying retailers level and amount of service do you remember what is amount monto very good so it says retail stores can be categorized in accordance to the level of service they provide so this categorization is depending on the service they provide so the first one is probably the most common that we can see uh, self-service. So self-service retailers allow customers to perform the process of search, compare, and collect goods for saving time and money purpose. What is allowed? Do you remember? Bajos. No, that is low, but allow is something different. Um, permitir. Permitir. Very good. So then it says for some cost consumers, Self service is considered a benefit while others may view it as an inconvenience. So, for some people, it's very good. For some other people, it's not very good. That is it. And then it says it is mostly used in discount stores and by sellers of convenience goods and fast moving shopping goods. Okay, so self service is like when you go to the supermarket, you have the time to look for the products. Uh, you go uh, compare products. You can take the products, read about the products. So that is self-service. You, you do the shopping yourself. You decide. So is that clear? I don't know if you have questions about self-service or any word or vocabulary that you don't know. That mostly uh, used in uh, yeah, mostly is mayormente. Mayormente. Okay. Very good. Okay, the other one says full service. So full service retail offer full retail related customer service in the store. They hire salespeople to assist customers in every phase of shopping process. So in the full service, you go to a store and there is one person that is going to help you. For example, when you go to, to Simang and you are looking for the computers, right? When you look for the computers, there is one people that is uh, an expert in computers. So he asks you, right, what do you want? What do you want to do with the computer? Uh, what is your budget? How much money would you like to spend? And they tell you, the characteristics of the computer. So this is with this memory RAM, uh, this is a touch screen, and this is with a lot of battery. So this is full service. When you go to a store and you have a specialized people that is going to help you deciding what is the best product for you. So they ask you questions and then they recommend what is the best product. And on the other hand, we have the limited service. The store offers some 
of the services provided by the full service stores. It is suitable for stores that sell shopping goods because customers, uh, I just can see as, as you were saying, but something like this. But that is it. Limited service is like a combination. I think. So again, in Simang, if you go and look for jeans, for example, uh, there is always somebody that come and ask you, uh, may I help you? So you decide. You decide if you need help or not. If you say, no, I'm just shopping around, they go and they tell you, if you need help, I will be here. But if you ask questions, they are there. Okay, I need to know if we have this in blue, if this is, uh, I don't know, you can ask me the question and they ask you, uh, they tell you the answers. So uh, that is limited service. So uh, we have three retailers levels of service. Well, the first one is full uh, self-service when you do everything and you decide and compare. The full service is when a specialized person comes and tells you, uh, recommend you what is the best. And the limited service that is like half and half. Do you have any questions on this? Thank you. Very good. Uh, excuse me, teacher. I can hear you the last the uh, the last part. We need a uh, doing a uh, 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 work. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, this is just a discussion. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Good. Good. Now uh, we are going to continue. Types of wholesalers. Ah, this is a good one. So, uh, Oscar, Rene, could you please help me reading this one? Okay. Types of war sellers, war sellers, merchandise, merchants, war sellers, fake, little uh, merchandise, full service and limit service, jobbers, and distribu distributors. Food service, world, world sellers, carry stores, main time, and sell for offered credit, make delivery, and provide management assist, assistance. Limit service, world sellers, limit line of test, more fast, sorry. Fast moving bull truck. Four sellers drop shippers, racks, truck, jobbers, mail over four sellers, broken in agent. Facilitate. Facilita Boy uh, bagging in, se in seven. Earth, two percent. Min minus six percent. Commission on selling price. A specialized, a specialized world sellers, agriculture, agricultural assemblers, petroleum bulk plant, and action companies. Very good. So these are types of wholesalers. Okay. So the first one and maybe the most common are uh, the merchant. Wholesalers. What is merchant? Mercancia. Very good. Mercaderia. So it says take title to merchandise. Well, uh -huh. That is merchandise. Mercaderia. Full service and limited service jobbers and distributors. So this is like the regular ones. The wholesalers are like the people or the companies that they uh, have any kind of products in general. Okay. What is uh, jobber? Jobber, teacher. Jobbers comes from job, people that do something. So in this case, it says full service. So this is something that we checked in the other slide. Full service is like people that do uh, a specialized job. So they recommend you or and limited service jobbers. Jobbers is like the people, the employees. Ah, uh, jobbers is employees. Yeah. Okay. The other one says full service wholesalers. 
a carry stock, maintain a sales force, offer credit, make deliveries, and provide management assistance. So carry stock means that they uh, manage the stocks of a company. The stocks of a company is like the merchandise, the products. So they, they carry, they manage everything there. A mountain, a sales force, I mean, so they have a sales force, mean, meaning that they have a, a team that uh, is made of salesperson, um, offer credit, make deliveries, and provide management assistance. So those are full service. So they give you specialized, uh, specialized, let's say, recommendations. The other one is something very similar to the one that we checked before. Limited service wholesalers. Limited line of fast moving goods. Fast moving goods are like food that you have to move the, the products very fast. Okay, so it's not possible to have inventory of, I don't know, X for a month, for example. Truck wholesalers. So truck wholesalers are the, the people that, um, or companies that they uh, manage all the products deliveries by truck and things like that. Drop shippers is uh, something that is very popular nowadays in the supermarket. Drop shipper means that you, for example, you place an order uh, in Siman, for example. You place an order for, I don't know, a TV. Uh, and then you don't want a delivery. You want to go to the store and pick the TV. That is a drop shipper. Rack jobbers is like when they uh, they are specialized in a warehouse. Do you know what is warehouse? A almacén. Almacén. Eh, como bodega. Eh, bodega. Very good. So rack jobbers are the ones that are specialized in keeping in the warehouse uh, all the inventory classified. So those are the rat jobbers, people that put everything uh, where it belongs, there in the warehouse, there in, on the, the side or on the other side or on top or on the bottom. So they manage all the inventory in, in a warehouse. And then we have mail order wholesale. So that is very easy. You place an order and uh, a delivery goes and gives you the order. So that would be it. And brokers and agents is something very similar again to the ones that we checked before, right? Facilitate buying and selling. Earn. Do you know what is earn? Yeah. Ganar. Ganar, very good. So they have a commission. That's why they do. So they help you selling your product. And what they do is that they they charge you a commission of the wholesale. It's between 2 and 6%, okay? So that is for brokers and agents. And specialized wholesalers. So these specialized wholesalers are companies that they buy and sell products, but they are not common products. They are specialized products. So for example, agricultural assemblers, because I mean, you need to know how to move all those things. Petroleum bull plants, uh, let's say for gasoline, right? So uh, there are companies that they resell the gasoline to, to their uh, gas stations. And action companies, definitely. This is also something that is related to brokers and agents. In este caso, teacher, ¿qué es bulk? A bulk eh, viene siendo como al mayoreo, como, o sea, no compra yeah. solo uno. Ya, yeah. en la compañía eh, está esa palabra, sí, porque se compran barcos de, ah, okay. de grano, entonces dicen el bulk. Ah, ok, muy bien. Me imagino que por eso lo relacionan así, el bulk. Uh, yes, actually, sí. I have bulk is, pero se compran varias, bastantes cosas de algo. Exacto. Y el objetivo es redistribuirla, revenderla. Exactly. In the, in, in the company, eh, buying, 
in different different uh, properties. Diferentes dueños. Un barco trae 580 toneladas, por ejemplo. Y tienen 100 para uno, 300 para otro, 500 Exacto. para otro. Ajá. Entonces dicen, viene, viene el bulk. El bulk tenía ese precio. Mm, ok. Interesting, uh, very good. <laughs> Perfect, thank you for sharing. And yes, there are, as you can see here in this English class, there are a lot of interesting things that we can learn. So not only English, right, but about business as well. All right, do you have any questions here in this slide? Bulk is uh, like a pallet. Yeah. Uh, it's similar, yeah, because a pallet is a word that you use in warehouse. In the warehouse, the pallet is uh, like when you construct a bulk of a certain amount of product, right? In general, bulk can be uh, any amount, it can be something that is not that big or something that is very big. And the pallet, it, it has a size, so that is the main difference. Okay, thank you. Acabo de ver la traducción. Bulk dice a granel. Ajá. Exacto. Es el grano, así se compra, a granel. O sea, Exacto. No viene empacado. Ajá. That will be. Very good. Perfect. Good. Nice. Let's go to the next one. So it says distribution channel effectiveness. Um, this is like an exercise that uh, we can find. Uh, so it's like how to analyze, uh, how to evaluate the effectiveness of a distribution channel study. So when we have a distribution channel, we need to consider different situations so we can identify if the distribution channel is good, is good for our product. Let's see who's gonna read. Uh, Ramiro, could you please help me reading this? Yes, teacher, excuse me. Go uh, ahead. Distribution channel effectiveness, step one. Uh, excuse me, I follow the objective uh, or step one? Uh, please go to the objective assignment, deliverables, and then go to the other side. Okay, objectives. Evaluate the effectiveness of uh, distribution channel strategies. Assignment overview. Assignment. Is this assignment. Assignment overview. It in this writing assignment, you will evaluate the effectiveness. 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 Excuse me. Effectiveness. Effectiveness of distribution strategies. Delivery. Delivery. Deliverables. Deliverables. Uh, place uh, A two page, uh, 500 word, double space paper. Follow? Yes, please. Step one. Consider a time when you wanted to buy a certain product but could not find it. What was your re uh, reaction? Why? How did the lack of uh, viability availability affect, viability affect your percepts perception of the company and the of the product? Did it did it make you want it more or did it make you frust frustrated frustrated so frustrated so that you lost interest? Speculate on the supply chain and distribution channel strategies that the company was trying to achieve. Okay, then. Perfect. So uh, this is this is something from the university, you know. I was teaching and I remember this one, so I, I put this one. It's an, a very good exercise. This is an exercise that I made when they had to write. They had to write a... Uh, uh, an essay, an essay for 500 words. Of course, we are not going to do the essay, but we're going to analyze this part. So the considerations about 
how effective is a distribution channel. So the step one is, is an exercise that you can do. I mean, it consider a time says when you wanted to buy a certain product but could not find it. So imagine that you really want, I don't know, cherry Coca-Cola, let's say. You really, really want cherry Coca-Cola. And then you go to Super super Selectos, you go to uh, Pensa Juan, you go to all the supermarkets and you can find that one. So this is the first exercise that we need to 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 think of. How do you feel? How do you feel when you really want a product? I feel fr frustration. Exactly. Frustration, right? So Disgusting. You, yeah. You are not happy, right? Because you are looking for that specific product and you cannot find it. And the other question here is very interesting. What happened? I mean, did you feel that uh, you want more of that because you couldn't find it? Or you feel that uh, you say, ah, it doesn't matter. I, I won't buy it anymore. I don't believe in this company anymore. How do you feel about that? So probably depends on the product, right? Because it's, I mean, depending on the, uh, what you are looking to get, you can, would, you would like maybe to go and buy something or really want to buy that very, very bad. Or probably you say, I, I, I won't buy this product. And the question here is speculate on the supply chain. What is supply chain? Anybody knows? Canal de distribución. Some. Very. So when you, when you can find a product, the first thing that you believe is that the company is not good. That the supply chain that the distribution channel on the product is not good, right? So that that happens a lot. So it's a very good thing because we can think about that situation, right? How do I feel if I cannot find my product? Do you have any questions here in this? For example, what is lack of? Well, paragraph uh, in, in the first one, yeah, it the, says the, the step one. Yeah. Okay. What was your reaction? How how did oh, like, the yeah. lack of availability? What is lack of? La falta de. La falta de. And availability. What is availability? Disponibilidad. Very good. Let me see if I can find it. Es como algo exclusivo, teacher. Mm, ¿Cuál? Falta de. Mm. O sea, lo que dice es como la falta de disponibilidad de ese producto te afecta. Hace que crezca el precio. Mm, yeah. In the demand and offer. The portion just. Yes. For example, uh, Miss Universo en El Salvador, las entradas están ahorita 300 dólares para arriba. Y hay, y hay entradas, ¿Eh? porque yo pregunté y sí. dijeron que ya no habían. ¿eh? Y que solo por paquetes no están vendiendo. Ah, ah, ah. Sí. Solo por paquetes y vale los nicaragüenses. Alguien llamó de aquí a Nicaragua y de allá vale 700 dólares el paquete que le incluye estar en el evento, del, eso y un. un unos tours aquí en el... En Teacher, el... we need to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hope, I hope a woman wins and not a man. <laughs> like in other countries, you know. <laughs> yeah, es ridículo eso, de verdad. Yeah, that's not... I mean... Ajá, hay otros paquetes que dicen que valen cuatro mil dólares. Aquí, a estar viendo ahí y un, unos tours pero o sea, de Puerto Rico de lugares así en a dinner with Miss Universe this is a world event yeah oh. when is going to be that 
Ajá, Dicen pero, que para los, extranjeros, para los extranjeros está valiendo 7 mil, entre 5 mil y 7 mil dólares. Different price. Ay, pues. es, igual que los, los, in, los que son de India, tienen que pagar un impuesto de mil dólares al hacer escala aquí o venir al Salvador. Ay, pues. uh, when is that event? No, no, es, no importa, mm. solo pusieron desde antes. When? Porque... In December, in December. No, en diciembre. En diciembre, ya. Yes. No, es que hace, hace poco porque yo venía aquí en abril, no, sí, en abril venía yo y venían varios hindúes ahí del aeropuerto de esos que se ponen turbantes. Mm, ok. Bastante gente en el aeropuerto de esos y, y dijeron, ah, lo están ocupando de escala o algo, no sé, pero ya le pusieron a todos los africanos y de India un impuesto de mil dólares ahí en las redes sociales por venir por hacer My, escala es a traffic <ríe> ah, <yeah. ríe> algo así. en el centro he visto yo también Ramiro no sé si lo has visto tú ah oh, really this, this yes. event will be in the Adolfo Pineda gym ah oh, really it's gonna be there yes mm -hmm. <ríe> yeah I believe it's too much right maybe it's better for us to to buy Johnny Walker and, and, and do a party, I don't know. <laughs> with a cherry Coca-Cola. Yeah, yes. with a cherry Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay. okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, Ernesto, could you please help me reading step two? Step two, now consider a product that are widely available. What is your perception of the product and the company? How is your perception influenced influence by the ubiqu ubiqu ubiquity. ubiquity of the product? Speak, speculate, speculate. Uh, speculate on the distribution strategy and goals for the company. Okay, this is the opposite. Now, it says, consider a product that is widely available. What is widely? Ampliamente. Uh, very good. So now consider that the product is everywhere. I mean, you want something in this, in every supermarket, in every place. And it says, what is your perception of the product and the company? Probably that is another point of view, right? If you see the product everywhere, you say this company is very strong. This is a very good company. Maybe I have to buy this product, right? The perception of the ubiquity. Do you know what is ubiquity? Ubiquity. Ubiquity. Mm hmm In the, Google, in the Google translations means in Spanish omnipresencia. That is it. That is everywhere. Right? Ah, okay. Okay. That is ubiquity. It's here, it's there in all the stores. For, like for Don Pollo, right? You see Don Pollo ah, everywhere. Ah, okay, Don okay. Pollo is ubiquitous. <laughs> yes, everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. It doesn't matter where you are, you are going to find a Don Pollo rice. <laughs> but but Don Pollo, Don Pollo brand is, for me, is in a specific target. Yeah, that is true. You can find it in a specific places, right? So yes. it's very interesting. I mean, for yes. example, in La Gran Vía, you are not going to find a Don Pollo rice. No, no, because the family prefer uh, buy in the store and got or, or return to the house exactly exactly as you say that is for a specific target right it's for people that they are going to buy don pollo and a soda right a coca-cola a big coca-cola and watch i don't know teacher and the, this this action for for don pollo this is a delivery no it's not the no. delivery that is like pickup Pick up, pick up or, yes. Yeah. Okay. 
-hmm. pick up. That would be. Uh, but I know that they have delivery. They don't, don't they have delivery? No. No. I don't, oh, okay. I don't know. No. Okay. No. Very good. No, no. Only the pedido ya. Ah, is there? Ah. Only by pedido ya, yes. Ah, okay. Very good. That is interesting. I didn't know. So, Two options. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Don Pollo is ubiquitous. They are everywhere, right? So that is that is that is something that happens. Then it says step three, compare. Oh, well, we're going to check. Okay, but the uh, the step two is like consider the opposite, right? That the product is everywhere. Of course, there you believe that the company is very good, right? They are very very nice. Okay, so let's see who's going to. Teacher, uh -huh. teacher, uh, I have a, a reflection for the between step one or in step two. Go ahead. Because because for me because the the step two, uh, this consideration uh, is better for the consumer because uh, the product is widely available. For the consumer, it's better, better situation. Actually, you're right. This is better for both, for the company and for the and for the consumer, right? Because they can buy Don Pollo everywhere. And for the company, it's good because they sell more products, right? Yes, teacher. Uh, interesting because if the product is widely available, is, for example, for the for the strategy, for market study, or for the assessment? That is it, I mean, yeah. Of course, for you to have a widely available product, you need to invest a lot of money. You need to have a very good distribution channel, right? So that yes. is the objective of that. For, for example, in, in, the step, in the step one, if a product, uh, couldn't, could not find it for a short time. It's possible for me in a market in a store. Uh, a later, the price is in, increase, increase the price for the demand. That's, yeah. So yeah, definitely that is a behavior that we expect to have. Very nice. Uh, so let's check step three. Uh, Monica, could you please help us uh, and read step number three? Uh, step three, compare and contrast your finding in the first two steps. How did the availability of Avail the product availability. availability of the products influence your thought and attitude toward the product and the company. Speculate as to whether the company's distribu distri distribution strategies have pro pro effective and served them well. Very good. So in step number three, we can compare. What is the difference between compare and contrast? What is contrast? Contrastar. Okay, that is it. It's to find the difference, right? Okay, and then it says, in this step, it's supposed that we're going to think what is better. Is better a company that doesn't have the availability of, of the product or a company that has the product everywhere? Of course, the answer is very obvious, right? So it's going to be the company that has the product everywhere. Because in that way, uh, people are going to be more related with the product itself and uh, the consumers are going to be happier because they can find it. And of course, the company will sell more. Okay, um, step four and step five, uh, we are not going to read because it's not relevant, but it's about the homework that is about. But it's not a homework, I mean, it's a homework that I got from another part, so no problem. 
Do you have any questions here? Okay. No, no for me, teacher. Good. Let's move on then. Uh, let me just check. Uh, just remember. No, this is not going to be the part that we're going to check. So we're going to continue with the book. Okay, let me just move here. Okay, this is what we checked yesterday, and this is it. The distribution channel says how to use expressions of certainty. Okay, let's see. Blanca, will you please help me reading the chart? Right. Unit one. Reading, I I'm reading unit one. The distribution channel. How to use expression of certain certainty. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Use this expression to to show now certain or sure you you feel about an action or event. Expression of certain certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence but offer the auxiliary verb. The investor is certainly coming tomorrow. The manage managers uh, obviously choose the, the wall cells approach to distribution. In close, of course, and in all like, likelihood in, in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence, the investment may, of course, a pay raise for the employees and the and Philip are in all like likelihood ready to make their business grow. Sometimes expression of certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentence. Surely, surely the managers will know how they arrange for distribution. Though, though please, the shipment will arrive on time. This expression can also be used at the end of a sentence, Par partnering with a relate related will help us reach many more customers, uh, obviously. Very good. So these are other uh, expressions of certainty. And as we checked before, we are going to use this expression to show how certain or sure you feel about an action or event. And it says expression of certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. If we use an auxiliary verb, of course. So this is very important, the position of the expression of certainty. For example, centrally and obviously here, the investor is, in this case, is, is the auxiliary verb. Then we have the uh, expression of certainty. So is certainly, and then we have the verb, the main verb coming. So is certainly coming and the rest, of course, tomorrow. The same happens with the other one. The managers obviously chose the wholesale approach to distribution. So in this case, we don't have an auxiliary, we don't use that one. Uh, but in mind that is negative, you can say the managers don't 
obviously chose. So that would be the option. Uh, what is approach? Do you remember what is approach? Enfoque. Very good, something like that. On the other hand says, sometimes expressions of certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentence. It's not very common, but it's possible, okay? Surely, comma, can, see, can you see that one? We're going to use the expression of certainty and then a comma. That is very important, okay? So, surely... For the, for the emphasize, emphasize. Exactly. So, uh, the, that pause is going to give that effect to the sentence. So, it says, surely the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Or doubtless, the shipment will arrive on time. So, speaking about position, it can be uh, before the main verb and after the auxiliary, if we have an auxiliary, or it can be at the beginning of the sentence, but if it's at the beginning of the sentence, we are going to use a comma. Okay, that is very. On the other side, well, first of all, do you have questions about that? Okay, let's check the other part. It says, and close, of course, and in all likelihood, in commas, when they occur in the middle of a sentence. So every time, always, if you are going to use, of course, in the middle of a sentence, we need to use two commas. That is a rule. The same happens with in all likelihood. Uh, do you know what is in all likelihood? Con toda probabilidad. Very good. That is. So every time that we use, of course, and in all likelihood in the middle of a sentence, we have to separate that with two commas. So for example, the investment meant, of course, a pay rise for the employees. Or, Ed and Philip are, in all likelihood, ready to make their business grow. These words are very important because in English, when you write uh, different kinds of papers, uh, you need to use this kind of words so the reader understands what you are talking about. So it's very important that whenever you write a paragraph, you start using these words. That is very, very important. The last part, it says these expressions can also be used at the end of a sentence. So for example, partnering with our retailer will help us reach many more customers, obviously. So, if you use that one at the end of the sentence, we are going to use a comma all the time, okay? Do you have any questions on this? No, teacher, but uh, interesting uh, your point about the the importance of the comma in, the, in a sentence, in the intonation, yeah, definitely. So uh, they are very strict on all that. So we need to be careful. Thank you, teacher. Good. Okay, if you don't have any questions, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, this exercise. So um, let's do it together, actually. We're not going to. Uh, I'm going to give you good time because it's going to be easy. So I'm going to tell you one of the expressions here and you tell me if this is certainty or uncertainty. Okay, so the first one is certainly. Is that for certainty or uncertainty? Certainty. Very <laughs> good. That definitely is certain. Uh, the other one says supposedly. 
uncertain. Uncertainty, very good. It's supposed, I don't know, I'm not sure. It's supposed, right? Naturally. Certainty. Certainly. Very good, certain. Possibly. Uncertainly. Uncertainty. Very good, uncertainty. Nice. Apparently. Uncertainty. 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 Very good. Presumably. Uncertainly. Uncertainly. Very good. <clears throat> of course. Certainly. Certainly. Very good. Probably. Uncertainty. Good. Obviously. Certainly. Certainly. And doubtless. Uncertainty. Actually, that, that is that is uh, yeah, certain certainty. What what do you mean is the doubtless? Sin duda. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. With doubt. With no doubt, I would say. With no doubt. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have any questions here? It's clear, but don't like our chatter. <laughs> okay, very nice. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to write five sentences using any of those. Please do not repeat. So five sentences with any of uh, these that we have here and okay. the rules that we did that. So, and then we're going to share. I'm okay. going to give you a few minutes for you to check into that one, okay? Okay, teacher. Good.
Perfect. So the question is, who wants to share the first part? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. The player is certainly coming to the game today. Very good. Nice. Perfect. Anybody else wants to share the second one? The second, the second sentence, teacher. Okay. Uh, possibly Roberto will drink Johnny Walker in the weekend. Of course. Very nice. Perfect. <laughs> Nice. Uh, who wants to share the number three? Anybody? Number three. Naturally, we will go to the yes. cinema yes. tomorrow. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Juan. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go ahead with the exam. I don't know who was going. Number, number four. Mm -hmm. It's possible that tomorrow the, the market will open below, but obviously to the new of the the where is the mean the the word the in medio oriente in the middle east in middle east sí. yeah very good perfect nice let's continue then okay uh so let me check um No, we're not going to do this. Okay. So we're going to go to the conversation. It says, I will be able to compare distribution options to fit a product's target market. What is fit? Adecuar. Adecuar. Que hace much que cabe. And uh, what is target? Do you remember? Target market. Mercado objetivo. Posición. Mercado objetivo. Very good. And then it says, what is the most important value a company should get for distribution services? Mm, that is not relevant. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. So let's do the conversation. Uh, as usual, I'm going to read. You check the pronunciation. And then uh, you practice, and then the uh, vocabulary. So it says, Ed and Philip are discussing the sales of their ice cream. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. So we have to reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Do you have any pronunciation questions? Oh. Okay. So let's practice. Um, Verónica and Ramiro. Okay. Hello, Ramiro. Okay. I begin. You want to start, Ramiro? Yes. We have to reevaluate our distribution option. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products for retail stores as before. 
the online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wall seller who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows to get our products in a strategic place on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as a totally will be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Maria, Julia, and uh, Juan Roberto. Okay, uh, I I will be, uh, I am Juan. Okay, yeah, of course you are. Uh, we have to reevaluate our, our distribution options. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. The, the online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to wall seller who can provide use with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution options option that allows us to get our products in strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will, I will call a consultant to ask about some pos possible world sellers. Very good, perfect. So now we're going to listen to Ernesto and Sandra. Okay, okay, Sandra, I, I am I am Juan. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have to reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interest, interested in purchasing our products from retail store as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a world site. We can provide uh, us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution options that allow us to get our products in a strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it will be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible with world resilience. Wholesalers. Resilience. Very good. Now, Oscar, Rene, and uh, uh, Mauricio Rivera. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. We have to reevaluate our distribution of uh, interesting in exercise our product from the day in the store as before. The online stores is becoming very popular. Probably, probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allow as to get our uh, product strategy places on time. The current red retail store is not a strategic app, so this will be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Oseas and uh, Jonathan, is it possible for you, Jonathan? Not possible. Okay. O sea, en blanca. Okay. I will be Juan. 
We have to reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers okay. are not as interested so in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. The only star store store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a uh, wool sell wool seller who can seller. provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in a strategic place at some time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will I will call a consultant to ask Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Monica Avalos, possible for you? Sellers. Yes. Okay, so it's going to help you because we don't have thank many you. people. Um, Juan, could you please help Monica? No, 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 Veronica. Veronica and Monica, that would be. Okay, we have to reevaluate our distribution auction. Consumers are not as interested in a portion purchasing or product from retail store as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allow us to get our products in a strategy place on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Very good, perfect, nice. So let's check pronunciation on some parts. Um, see. Switch. Switch. And us. Switch. Okay, that would be it. So let's check some. Uh, Vocabulary, if we can find something, let's see. Uh, what is switch? Switch, cambio. Very good, cambio. Wholesaler. Wholesaler, what is wholesaler, my friends? Vendedores. Very good, mayoristas, nice. Mayoristas. And I believe that is it. Do you have any questions here? Okay. If you don't have any questions, then we're going to do the exercise. Okay. So uh, it says building vocabulary match the distribution options to their benefits. So we are going to check what is the meaning of this and what is the option for this, okay? I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish this one. Okay, teacher.
online. Why is it not fit? Why is it? Okay, let's check together. So uh, the first one says, while well, you must pay a wholesaler and retailer commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. What do you believe is this? Well, Salem. Wholesalers, everybody agrees? No. What do you I believe is it? Uh, I think retail outlet. retail outlets. Retail outlets. Yes. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. The next one says you can stock inventory and fulfill orders yourself or use a fulfillment service to handle your orders. Wholesalers. Wholesalers, everybody agrees? I agree. Okay. The other one says you might have chains or independent retailers sell your products for you. Mm -hmm. Catalog and direct mail. Catalogs and direct mail. Everybody agrees? I agree with Maria Julia. Okay. We can the last, okay. The last one says you can take orders over a toll-free number or website URL 
you provide on the mail piece or you can have customers mail order requests to you. Online sales. Online sales. Online, Online sales. sales teacher. Very good. So let's check some words. What is while? Mientras. Mientras. Very good. And what is must? Mientras tú debes pagar. Very good. Obligation. Let's see. Obligation. Uh, what is lower rate? La oferta. Tarifa más baja. Very good. Nice. And what is stock inventory? What is that? Inventario en en presente. La venta de Inventario de existencia. Inventario en presente. Good. And what is fulfill orders? Okay, llenar o completar. And fulfillment services, that one is un servicio de, de llenado. All right. And what is chains? Chains is like a cha channel. It's like a channel, very good. So a chain is like the distribution channel, right? A supply chain we discussed before. Supply yeah. What is a toll-free number? Oh, llamar a, a llamada gratis. That is a, un número de llamadas gratis. In, in, in the United States, is the 1-800 or 800 something, right? And, and that's it. Do you have any questions here? Not for me, teacher. It's clear. Nice. Let's check this other chart that is about a little bit of grammar. How to express comparisons with us, as, and not us, as. This is a very good, absolutely. It's very nice. Uh, let's see. Um, ah, the dog is reading. Uh, Ernesto, can you please help me reading the chart? Okay, teacher. Uh, look at the examples in the box. Then complete the exercise below. When we compare people, objects, or ideas, and we want to show that they are the same or do something in the same way. We use the form as plus adjective, adverb plus as. Getting, getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. The company adds as much value to distribution as they can. Comparisons can also be negative. My distributors are not as fast as the ones you partnered with. The shipment transportation from my distributors is not as effective as shown in their advertising. Very good, perfect, thank you. So this is a very interesting part, grammar. Uh, when we compare people, objects, or ideas, and we want to show that they are the same or do something in the same way, we use the form as plus adjective advert plus us. Okay, and uh, the examples are like this. Getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. So when we use us and then us, it's like, and in this case, for example, tan importante como, right? Something like that. And uh, the other example is also very interesting. Uh, the company adds as much value to distribution. Look at that. This is very interesting because uh, in this case, we're going to use um, a noun. 
And the first one is uh, an adjective. And the second one is a noun. The company has as much value to distribution as they can. La compañía agrega tanto valor agregado a la distribución como eh, pueda, como puedan ellos. All right? So, that is very, very important. So, you can use that with adjectives, adverbs, and nouns. And the comparisons can also be negative. My distributors are not as fast as the ones you partner with. Mis distribuidores no son tan rápidos como los con los cuales tú tienes socios, sociedad, partner. Right? So, when you use not, no es tan, no es tan y el adjetivo, adverbio, whatever you want to use, right? The shipment transportation from my distributors is not as effective as shown in their advertisement. So again, it's the same situation, right? Uh, no es tan efectivo como lo mostrado en su anuncio. So if we use as in affirmative, it means that both are the same, the same level. If we use negative, that means that the first one is less than the second one. So for example, if, if we say, Veronica doesn't have as many cars as Ernesto, that means that Veronica has less cars than Ernesto. So this is always like that. The first one is going to have, if it's negative, less than the other. But if it's affirmative, it's the same. Do you have any questions with this? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Okay. In the second sentence in negative, uh, that the chip, the shipment, what is the mean? El embarque, el transporte. Em el, uh -huh. Shipment is like when you send something via a via, uh, ship. El envío, yeah, sometimes yeah, we can say, uh -huh. and you can say el envío en general. Ah, okay. In All general, right. in general no. kind of transportation. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Good. Any other questions? No questions, which is very good. So now we're going to do the exercise here. Order the words to make sentences. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish that one, okay? Okay, teacher. Good. will be delivered
Okay, so let's check, my friends. Who wants to share? Well, the first one is already there, right? Uh, it was retailers help you produce as much profit as wholesalers. So what about the number two? The number number two, teacher. Okay. The, the shipment will be delivered as the payment is received as soon. Actually, it's the opposite. As soon as the payment is received. Okay, teacher. Good, perfect. Thank you. What about number three? Anybody wants to share number three? Number mm. three, teacher. Yeah. Go ahead, Maria Julia. Okay. <laughs> transportation is as expensive as storage capacity. Very good. Flow transportation is as expensive as storage capacity. Nice. Uh, what about number four? Me. Okay. Uh, some channel distribution strategies are not as efficient as others. Very good. Some channel distribution strategies are not as efficient as others. Nice. Uh, be careful with the plurals. You can see that here we use R because R. it's speaking about strategies in plural. So that is very important. Others. What about number five? Number five, teacher. Okay. Selling, selling uh, our digital courses through a store is not profitable as distributing them online. Perfect. That is number five. Very, very nice. Good. I see that you got the grammar. This is 
This is actually very common. I don't know if you have seen this before, but this grammar is very, very common and very popular. And you can use it in many ways. So my recommendation for you is to include this into your vocabulary when you want to compare. Remember, that is very, very important. Nice. Do you have any questions about this? No. Not Very for good. me. Perfect. So, uh, no, we don't do that. Okay. So, uh, remember to continue doing the exercise in the platform. That is very, very important. We should be finishing unit one by tomorrow. Uh, so, Saturday, I will be sending the grades to Insaport. So, Please try to finish those as soon as possible. And well, by now I'm going to check the attendance so you can go to bed uh, and rest a little bit. The dog agrees. Okay. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present, teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Monica Wendy Avalos Tom. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. No, Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Ok. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Dream in English and see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. And everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night Friday, everybody. Finally. Yeah. Hello, Aida. Hola, hola, ahorita ya me salgo. Ah, okay, okay. Claro. Thank you.